But it sounds like something from Harry Potter, doesn't it? Very similar. Very, Hogs very Mead similar. Hogsmeade was the, the top Hogs, of the village, Hogwarts was where they went to school. But we're talking about Hogwarts. And this has something very strange about it as well. It's been absolutely miserable for some children in Manchester. Yeah, the Japanese plant looks harmless, but it's actually toxic, touching its leaves, uh, leaves skin blistered, bruised, and may even cause scarring that can last for up to seven years. Yes, yeah, so our correspondent Vanessa Francis is at a park in Bolton where a number of children have been hurt after coming into contact with the plant. Have a look at this. A number of children have been hurt coming into contact with this plant. It's this one here. It looks actually quite lovely and quite majestic. It grows up to about five feet tall and it's part of the carrot family. You wouldn't think that it's going to be that harmful, but it actually is completely toxic. And when the sap touches your skin, it can cause terrible burns within 48 hours. And that's exactly what happened to four teenage boys and one little girl, Annie, who joins us now with her mum, Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, thanks for coming this morning. You're welcome. Tell us what happened to Annie when you, when you were here recently. Uh, we came for a family day out and we were having a picnic down by the the river's edge and um, it was a beautiful day and um, there was lots of these plants around and I noticed them because they're very striking but I didn't realize that they were poisonous at all and um, the children were just playing in the fields 24 hours later um, we noticed that she had a red line a, a, a stripe of red line down her back um, didn't realize what that was um, and then it turned into huge yellow sore blisters it must have been very painful for you Annie what was that like it stung a lot, um, in, but at first it didn't, and in hospital it really hurt. And I just want to say I don't want other people to touch it because it could make them ill. That's very, very good advice. It can be exceptionally painful. As Annie said, there were five people injured on that day. The council have said that they're doing whatever they can to eradicate the plant in the area, but this particular plant was on private land and there's nothing that they can do about it. So with families coming out over the warm weather and over the weekend, they should be very vigilant to stay away from this plant.